It's your girl Ash and I am back, back with another video and today I'm going to be watching 25 amazing and unique things about Scotland. If you guys would like to check out my other videos, the link will be up at the top. And if you guys would like to follow me on Instagram, the link will be down in the description below. And if you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Hit that red button so you can be a part of the family. Don't forget to give your girl a thumbs up. Enough of me talking, let's get straight into this reaction. What's up? 25, world's shortest commercial flight. Loganier. Operated by Loganair, the world's shortest commercial flight takes place between two Orkney Islands. The flight covers a distance of only 1.7 miles or 2.7 kilometers. And if the weather conditions are favorable, That's it can be completed distance. in 47 seconds. 20. Oh, but you can't walk there because I'm pretty sure you have to fly because you're going from island to island. So I'm pretty, pretty sure that there's like water um so i guess that makes sense but that's like yeah that's like walking distance do you guys like take boats there too comment down below let me know four home of golf modern golf originated in scotland and the old course I'm of st andrews a town of the eastern coast of the country is considered to be the site where the sport was born 23 possibly the oldest tree in europe Located in the churchyard of the village of Fordingle in Perthshire, Scotland, the Fordingle U is estimated to be 3,000 to 5,000 years old, which wow. means it could be Europe's oldest tree. With its That's massive amazing. trunk of 15 feet, 16 meters in diameter, the U is still in good health and may last for many more centuries. 22. Haggis. Considered the nation dish of Scotland, haggis is a savory pudding containing sheep's pluck, minced with onion, oatmeal, suet, spices, and salt, mixed with stock and traditionally encased in the animal's stomach and simmered for about three hours. Haggis is popularly assumed to originate. This looks like a baked potato. And I wonder why, like, why it's not sold or made in the U.S. Like, what's so bad about it? If they eat it in Europe, why we can't eat it like is it unhealthy to the point where you're well everything is pretty much unhealthy if you really think about it but i don't know i mean i would like to try it even though i'm kind of scared to try it but i would like to try it though to see what it tastes like but as of right now this looks like a baked potato made in this country but there is no historical evidence to prove this claim 21. Scotch whiskey. If you ask people what they associate with Scotland, they will most likely say whiskey. Yeah. And that's right. Whiskey that's has been the national drink of this country for centuries, since 1494 actually. And Scotch whiskey, often referred to as just Scotch, ranks amongst the finest and most desired whiskeys in the world. Tw I am a tequila person. I'm sorry guys, I love tequila. I'm not really a fan of like whiskey or like cognac. I'm a tequila person, a wine person, white wine, sweet wine. Really not like a more low type of person either. Um, comment down below and let me know what's your favorite liquor that you like to um, drink. 20. Kerala Varick Castle. Scotland is notable for its abundance of stunning medieval castle. castles. Some estimates suggest that there are as many as 3,000 castles built in the country. Wow. Located on the southern coast, the iconic Kerleveric Castle, with its typical moat and triangular shape, is one of the most famous ones. 19. Breathtaking Scottish Islands Scotland boasts of almost 800 islands. Only about 100 of them are permanently inhabited, which means the remaining islands offer pristine nature, breathtaking views, and unique wildlife. 18. World's Longest Echo Set in an underground fuel depot constructed near Invergord in Scotland before World War II, the longest reverberation's time from start to finish was 112 seconds. 17. Loch Ness Monster Reputedly occupying the Loch Ness Lake in the Scottish Highlands, the monster nicknamed Nessie is believed to be, by some, a plesiosaur. 16. Is that a Burns real Cottage. thing? Born in 1759 in Alloway, Robert Burns is considered to be the national poet of Scotland and one of the pioneers of the Romantic movement. 
The cottage where he was born has been fully restored and has become part of the Robert Burns Birthplace Museum. 15. Glenfinnan Viaduct. Oh. Built in 1898, the Glenfinnan Viaduct is a spectacular rail viaduct that has been featured in several films and television series, including Ring of Bright Water, Charlotte Grey, Stone of Destiny, and the Harry Potter movies. Mm -hmm. I 14. Ride. Kilts. The traditional dress of men and boys in the Scottish Highlands of the 16th century, kilts are an integral part of the local culture and Gaelic heritage. However, these days, the kilt is usually worn only on formal occasions, folklore festivals, etc. 13. Edinburgh Castle Perched high above the capital, the Edinburgh Castle is Scotland's most important and famous castle. Dominating wow. the city skyline for hundreds of years, the castle has been the site of numerous historical events and battles throughout Scottish history. 12. Unique Scottish Coastline Despite being a relatively small country, Scotland has an unusually long and indented coastline. Mainland Scotland has about 6,160 miles, which is about 9,910 oh, kilometers so of coastline, which is three times larger than that of England and twice that of France or Spain. If you include the numerous islands, it increases to an astonishing 10,250 miles or 16,500 kilometers. 11. Morag Monster We talked about the Loch Ness Monster already, but Scotland has another mysterious resident. That's right, the Loch Ness Monster is not the only legendary creature allegedly living in Scotland. Hiding deep in the waters of Loch Morar in Scottish Highlands resides the Morag Monster. With Hold up. Is this like real? Is this like a real image? How come like no one has ever like go gone in the water to see, to physically see if this is like, it's called Morag? I think, am I pronouncing it right? I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. Is it like dangerous? Does it bite? Highlands resides the Morag monster. Witnesses say it is a large snake-like creature about 30 feet or 9 meters long. What? 10. Scatterbrae. Located on the Bay of Scale in the Orkney Archipelago, Scatterbrae is a stone-built Neolithic settlement dating back to about 3200 BC. 9. Highland Bagpipes. A bagpipe is another item commonly associated with Scotland. The first mention of bagpipes having been used in this country dates back to 1547, when they allegedly replaced a trumpet on the battlefields. 8. Loans and Quines Now, I probably am saying this wrong, but if you're wondering what the heck these are, loans and quines, again, I probably mispronounced these words, are boys and girls in Doric dialect, a very specific dialect spoken in northern eastern Scotland. 7. Venue of World's First International Soccer Match In 1872, Scotland versus England was the first ever official international association football match. Wow. It was held at the West of Scotland Cricket Club's ground at Hamilton Crescent in Patrick. 6. Ben Nevis Situated deep into the highlands, Ben Nevis is at 1,344 meters or 4,409 feet, the highest mountain in the UK. 5. Callanish Stones. Located in the Outer Hebrides, the Callanish Stones are an arrangement of standing stones placed in the cruciform pattern with a central stone circle. Built in the late Neolithic era, they were probably a center of ritual activity during the Bronze Age. 4. Glasgow Cathedral and Acropolis. Built in the 12th century, the Glasgow Cathedral is one of the prime landmarks of Scotland's largest city. Next to the cathedral, there is the Glasgow Necropolis, where over 50,000 people have been buried. 3. Wow. Scottish feral goats Feral goats are a fairly common sight in the Scottish Highlands and are descendants of livestock abandoned by Highlanders during the Highland clearances. The goat different. act as a living reminder of the region's turbulent past. 2. One of the world's greatest sport derbies The rivalry between the two famous Scottish soccer clubs, the Glasgow Rangers and the Celtic Glasgow, is enormous. It's deeply embedded in the Scottish culture and has largely contributed to the political, social, and religious division in Scotland. Wow. And one, more redheads than anywhere else. Really? Scotland has the highest proportion of red hair people <laughs> in the world. As much as 13% of the Scottish population has red hair, and approximately 40% carry the recessive redhead gene. Wow. Liking our lists? Be sure That's to subscribe so by pressing the button. That is so dope that ma the majority of the people are like redheads. I love red hair. The natural red, reddish, orange hair. I think it's like so cute, especially when like some people have 
the freckles to match the hair color i think that is just like so so cute it's the cutest thing ever back to that monster i really would like to know how come like no one has ever like took a swim to see if it's like a real thing i i really would like to know and i would like to know like if it's like dangerous or not i don't know comment down below let me know what you guys think don't forget to drop your suggestions give me your thoughts and opinions and i'll see you guys in the next video bye fam